Manchester United travelled to the Emirates Stadium to face Arsenal in the FA Cup. Let's have a look at how the teams lined up tactically. On paper, Arsenal played a 4-3-3 formation. However, on the field, this mostly became a 4-2-3-1. Manchester United were also expected to line up in a 4-3-3, but they went with the same formation as against Tottenham, with Lingard playing the false nine. Let's start by looking at United's defensive setup, in which Lukaku had a special role. From the very first minute, United would look to press high up. They started pressing when the ball was in a corner and they could trap the Arsenal defender. Here, Sanchez waits with his run to force the pass into the corner so he can start pressing. After the press was broken, United will fall back into a 4-3-3 shape. However, Solskjaer chose to have Lukaku stay up front. Here you can see that United are defending in a 4-3-3 shape, but Lukaku was ordered not to track back last match. And this is another example in which Lukaku doesn't track back Kolasinac and stays up front. Roberto Martinez used a similar approach with Belgium during the World Cup game against Brazil. Having Lukaku stay up front had both an advantage and a disadvantage. The big advantage was that Lukaku would immediately be free during counter-attacks, ready to exploit the space the fullbacks had left. Here, Shaw wins the ball during an Arsenal attack. Kolasinac wants to take out the passing lane, but should just fall back to Lukaku. And this eventually leads to the second goal and makes it 2-0. Other than that, when United had possession, they mainly looked to play the ball in behind the Arsenal fullbacks. And here's an example of United looking for the space in behind the fullbacks. And again here, United have possession in Arsenal's half. They're again looking for the space behind the fullbacks. This was also how the first goal was scored. It starts with Young looking for the space in behind the fullback. United are able to continue the attack, and Torreira leaves Lukaku free. Sanchez makes a good run, and United are able to score the opening goal. In his false nine role, Lingard again looked to drop into midfield. Lingard drops and gets free between the lines. Both Sanchez and Lukaku would then move inside to pin back the Arsenal defenders. Shaw would go high on the left, while Young would stay back as Lukaku wouldn't aid in defending on that side. However, United's problem was that both Lindelof and Bailly aren't great ball-playing defenders. Here, Lingard drops and United have a 3v2 in midfield. But Arsenal force the ball outside and Bailly again chooses for the long ball to Lukaku. During build-up, Arsenal mainly look to get Shaka free on the ball. In order to do this, Shaka and Torreira would constantly move in opposite directions, forcing Lingard to choose who he would follow. Here, Torreira pulls Lingard to one side and allows Shaka to get free. When Pogba tried to aid Lingard, Ramsey would position himself between the lines. Pogba tries to step forward, but Ramsey positions himself in the space behind Pogba. And here, Ramsey occupies Pogba, which allows Shaka time on the ball. When Shaka had time on the ball, he would mainly look to play it to the left side. As Lukaku didn't track back Kolasinac, the pass to the fullback was often open for us. Arsenal would then look to create overloads on the left side with Ramsey moving back. At the start of the match, these were mainly 3v3 situations with Kolasinac, Iwobi and Ramsey against Herrera, Young and Bailly. Later in the match, Shaka also joined on that side, allowing Arsenal to create 4v3 situations. Eventually, Arsenal only needed a 3v3 situation to score their first goal. Both Herrera and Bailly follow the run of Kolasinac, which allows Ramsey to get free. Ramsey puts in a low cross and Aubameyang scores. In the second half, Emery made a small change. 
When the ball was on the other side, Kolasinac would stay back to cover Lukaku. When the ball was on the left, he would still make forward runs. After an eight minute break in which Koscielny was injured, both managers made a tactical change. Arsenal put in Ozil and Guendouzi and switched to something of a 4-4-2 diamond. While for United, Lingard and Lukaku switched positions. And this meant that Lingard would track back Kolasinac. United eventually scored their third goal through a counter-attack. This started with the United winning the ball in midfield. Pogba dribbles over the field and his shot is blocked by Czech, but Martial is able to score the rebound. So all in all, it was a bit of a risk for Solskjaer to leave Lukaku up front, but it worked out for him this time, and that gives him his eighth consecutive win at United. Anyway, if you made it to the end of the video, make sure to like and subscribe, and as always, you can follow me on Patreon, Instagram, and Twitter, with the links all in the description. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you next time.